Genevieve Goings. You may have seen me or heard my voice on Disney Junior. I don't know if you watched that, but I'm the host of Choo Choo Soul, which is the all aboard the Choo Choo Train. All aboard, all aboard. <laughs> well, as a lover of everything children, also childhood literacy, and also music, um, I come in contact with a lot of cool brands, but there's something really, really special about Ernest Hummingbird that made me want to be a part of this team. So I'm so honored to be here and excited. And there's some very handsome gentlemen up here. Oh, Peter, please do take this. I don't need this. <laughs> He's such a gentleman. I love it. So you guys, we're here today to hear about a really cool guy named Ernest Hummingbird. Can you guys say Ernest Hummingbird? Oh my gosh, it sounds so much cooler when you guys say it, doesn't it? They're so cool. So you guys, without further ado, I just want to say, I'm introducing these three guys right here. Now this is a really eclectic group of really creative people. So I'm going to start right in the middle, David Fees. Um, he started work at, yes, give it up. He started work at Legendary Animation Studio, Hanna-Barbera. Have we heard of Hanna-Barbera? Yes. Hello! <laughs> now, he started there when he was 19 years old. He worked as a key animator on The Jetsons, The Jetsons yeah. Movie, The Ren and Stimpy Show, and many others. He also created, wrote, and directed the hit Cartoon Network original series, Cow and Chicken, and its spin-off, I Am Weasel. Jeez, what did you guys do today? I don't know. <laughs> well, let's give it up for David Fee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Peter Asher. My goodness, legendary, legendary. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass you or anything. I just got to talk about how cool you are, okay? okay? All right, so Peter formed the British pop duo, Peter and Gordon, in 1962. Their first hit in 64 was A World Without Love, written by the Beatles' Paul McCartney. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyone here heard of Paul McCartney? Yes. <laughs> Well, not only has he heard of Paul McCartney, his sister actually dated McCartney, and he spent a lot of time in the Asher's home, um, which is kind of amazing as well. John Lennon and Paul McCartney wrote many Beatles hit songs together right in his home music room. In 68, Peter ran the A&R department at the Beatles' newly formed record label, Apple Records, discovering and signing singer James Taylor, moving to the U.S. to manage and produce many of Taylor's multi-platinum selling hit albums. He shaped the 1970s California rock sound, producing records by Linda Ronstadt, Andrew Gold, and Bonnie Raitt. I mean, just amazing. It's so awesome to have you here. Uh, he became the SVP of Sony Music in 1995, and he's currently hosting a new show on Sirius XM Beatles channel called From Me to You. It's Peter Asher. Yeah. <laughs> records in 83, releasing four albums through the 80s, and he became the lead guitarist of the legendary rock group KISS in 2002. <laughs> I'm kind of geeked out to be up here with you guys. <laughs> He's written and recorded chart-topping records with KISS, as well as directing and producing many of KISS's long-form documentaries and live concert films, which I didn't even know. That is so cool. He served on the Pacific University Board of Trustees in Portland, Oregon for 12 years, hosting Pacific's annual fundraising event, Legends, raising $3 million for the school's Tommy Thayer Scholarship Endowment. Yeah. Also working on a $20 million uh, museum in, uh, in Oregon, which is being named after Tommy's father, the re uh, retired General James Thayer. This is awesome. That's in the Oregon Military Museum. story of these really incredible and accomplished people standing up here that came together for what I consider to be the best reason ever, which is kids and entertaining kids and giving them a quality um, role model and kind of a, just a cool guy to look up to. So I'm going to turn it over to these guys and we're all going to give them a round of applause and maybe a little scream. <laughs> Hey. 
Thanks, Jen. You're welcome. Thank you, everyone, for being here. This is fantastic. Uh, you know, taking your Saturday here to be, be here with us. But we're going to read the book now to you guys. You have your books in your, your hands there, too. And uh, David's going to start it off since he wrote this thing in the first place. But just follow along. We'll have it up on the screen here as well. Can't wait.